All right, boys. Well, it is Bubba season, so nah, I'm just playing. But uh, these wheels and tires are going to be gone pretty soon. I've got a ton of people interested. No one's pulled the trigger quite yet, but I went and took them off the truck just because so many people were interested. I figured I'd line them up on here and kind of give you a look at what, what it would look like because a lot of people do run the 2014 and newer replica wheels, the five spokes on these trucks. And I, they honestly look freaking amazing. You run like a 35 on there, which is something I've really debated doing, uh, putting a 20 inch uh, replica wheel on here and a, like a 35 inch mud grab. I think that'd look absolutely insane. Um, a lot of people do run adapters on the factory five spoke wheels, but uh, you know, I don't know. I guess it's a decent thing to do, but I don't know. I'd probably get the replicas, but it looks pretty dang beefy. I ain't gonna lie. Obviously we got like massive amounts of poke, so they're <laughs> sticking way far out past the body, but looks looks pretty legitimate at a, at a distance. Put it at the right angle. Not too shabby. They would be stuffed under there, I tell you that much. This thing is screaming. But that's about as much fun as I wanted to have with those. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those up, pull the truck over here in the shade, and let's go ahead and check out what we're gonna be upgrading today on the old Duramax. What's going on guys so in today's video we're going to be doing some crucial things to the dirty max that she just she really really needed so um definitely some upgrades on the interior and the exterior and i ain't gonna lie i kind of dug the whole uh stock wheel mud tire look on the dirty max maybe it's probably just i dug the whole mud tire because I, man, you just can't beat a mud tire the more and more i see I want to throw some mud tires on the Dirty Max. So if you want to see mud tires on the Dirty Max, leave me a comment. I might not do it anytime soon, but then again, I might. Don't know. So if we check it out right here, we've got multiple boxes. This guy and this guy, we are not going to be installing today, unfortunately, simply because it is something that takes a decent amount of time. And uh, I just don't have that today to do. I've been wanting to do this for about a week or two, but I just haven't had time yet. But I will definitely be getting to that. Um, but we're going to be installing this guy, what's in here, and two things that are in here. So I guess we're going to go ahead and start with the easiest thing and then work our way outside. So you might already see the first thing we're going to be doing. That little armrest guy right there. She's looking rough. So let's check that out. So obviously with an older truck, you're gonna have some wear and tear on your interior. Most of the time it is your driver's seat. This one's in pretty dang good shape. It does have a little crack right here, which I mean, it kind of sucks. But then again, I mean, if it didn't have a crack, I'd probably put one in it. This is a pretty short truck, but I think we all kind of just slide in and out of these trucks. You got leather, I don't know, it just it just happens. But this doesn't bother me at all. However, this little armrest guy, so, so whoever, uh, Whoever had this truck at some point in its life definitely had a heavy elbow or a very greasy one. So absolutely killed the leather. Obviously, if you don't ever condition these, you don't ever clean them, your leather can go pretty quickly. Like I'm driving, I got my hand right here. Got my elbow, it's like exactly where my elbow goes and it's like gets pinched right here and it's super annoying. Well, I know this is abrupt, I'm in baby squat now, um, but this thing is the wrong armrest cover unfortunately you know sometimes it just happens whatever i ordered one for uh 2006 don't know how that got messed up maybe the 1500s are different i don't know but i reached out to them i'm sure i'll get either the correct part or a refund and then i'll order the correct thing so i guess we'll update that in another video as soon as i get that on but um yeah so let's go ahead and move on to the next install if you look over here our fog light button i don't know what happened maybe something got caught on it dropped on it i don't really know but the button itself is broken and so it's annoying that the little i guess that's what happened honestly the little spring in there probably failed so they cut this little out so you could put your finger in there to pull it in and out i'm assuming that's what it is don't know why you would do that got this little 
little replacement thing and has good reviews looks good the only negative people ever say is it's got a little green light instead of the orange or red light which who freaking cares that's literally not going to matter at all so i guess we're going to go ahead and pull the dash off or the trim for the dash off get the other one out toss this baby in i think you just start tugging away on this thing and it should pop out hopefully i don't break anything but oh okay all right that's a good start it's all good noises there we go okay cool all right so if you can see i don't know if you can there's a little tab in there right there you're gonna have to pick that little guy up and then here on the bottom pick that little guy up well per the usual my gopro dies because why not There we go. All right. It was just wanting to be very picky. Okay. There's the oldie. Here's the new one. So you can feel a little bit of quality. This one's a little bit heavier, the old one. And uh, yeah, but they're pretty much identical. This one doesn't have a hole right here. So let's plug it in. See how she do. Locked in there. Pop it back in, just like that. Oh, dude, freaking sick. It's working. Let's go ahead and check the cargo light. Check this out, even though mine's blacked out. <laughs> it is working. This thing was so freaking annoying. This was just, get out of here. Alrighty, good as new. Got the trim back on. And obviously it's a little bit darker than this. And obviously this is more of a grayish black, but I mean, who freaking cares? This thing works perfectly. Obviously the truck's not on, so that's why it's not doing that. But dude, I'm excited about that. It's the little things, dudes. It's the little things. The one huge thing that this truck absolutely needed was some LED lighting. We got the front taken care of. We got the tail lights taken care of, but we need tag lights, interior lights. They are looking horrible. No one likes halogen. So Last Fit Auto LED Lighting reached out to me, wanted to send me some stuff, so I uh, obliged. And so I'm not sure exactly what all we've got. I'm pretty sure this is the interior dome light, the center one. Um, I guess one of these are tag lights, and then maybe maybe, maybe the tag lights and the, the front little dome lights are the same thing. Uh, I guess there's not any for the doors. Um, because those are also a nasty, nasty color. I'll have to double check, but I'm gonna see what all this fits in. Go ahead and toss them in. We'll do a little comparison test. Talk about something that is dirt cheap and just makes a world of a difference. Tag lights should be your number one thing you buy. Everyone has enough money to buy tag lights. If you have a vehicle, you got enough money to buy a tag light. And this is just insane. I mean, look at this. Oh, what even, what even is that? That looks so horrible. And that looks so freaking good that it's just, it's laughable. Look at, oh my, I mean, that is just horrible. That is horrible. That is awesome. Well, as you can see, one dome light right there. Holy crap, dude, it's like daytime in here. I mean, that's literally, this thing is legit. You got those crappers right there, which we're about to swap out. Um, all you do for install is you just reach in here with your fingernail or a flathead, pop this down, and then it's just one bulb, pull that out. But dude, I'm excited. It's, LEDs are just amazing, dude. They just change your whole freaking vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop those out once they cool down, because they're freaking, they will burn you right now. So I'm gonna let those go ahead and cool down for a little bit, and then I'll swap them out. And this this interior is going to be lit up like freaking christmas all right so i don't know what for whatever reason i guess maybe because they were on i i honestly don't know because they weren't on when i was changing it but i did pop a fuse on the dome light so for anyone that um might do the same thing it's the one right here and the dash it is this um tbc2b 15 amp um and mine let's see so kind of hard to see but yeah popped it for whatever reason but i'm gonna go ahead 
unplug the battery this time so we don't screw that up. Put these babies in here and then I'll catch up with y'all. Pop the fuse out. I uh, had to adjust the lights a little bit and all seems fine. So um, yeah, it's like brighter in here than it is during the day. So let's check it out. I mean, this is insane bright. This is like, this is crazy. So um, dome lights, map lights, all are looking insane bright, nice white. I mean, it just changes the whole truck. I mean, if you go from that to this, which this makes me sad because I didn't get any of these. So I definitely need some of these. If you do want to pick up some of these interior lights for yourself, check out the description of this video. There will be links to them with discount codes. So go ahead and scoop you up some from last bit. I am super excited now. We've got all these beautiful LEDs. I still gotta do something with the turn signals. But other than that, man, the Dirty Max is coming into the 21st century. It is amazing. We got headlights. Look at, look at dude, that is dumb bright. That is insane bright. That's that's insane. Uh, I mean, even now, dude, forget the windshield. I just turn the light on, they'll never even know that it's got tin on it. Unless they watch my videos, in which case, real. Tag lights, finally. Finally, finally. Dude, it makes such a big difference. It's insane how big just some LEDs make such a big difference. So much better now. All around. And as well, now my switch is working. So excited. So we, as you see, well, let's try. Boom. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I think I'm more excited about that switch than anything, but the lights are absolutely insane. Dude, I'm so hyped. 